everybody, my name is LB. Welcome to Belgium. Today I am visiting the beautiful city of Lauk, also known as Liège in French. Enjoy the rest of the viewing. Liège is one of the cities in Belgium and it's a nice place to visit by car. If you're in Brussels, for example, you can easily drive there. It just takes about an hour on the road. You can also go by train, you can take a bus, it depends on how you want to go. And it's just a nice city, you know, it's not that big, but it's interesting, it has a lot of history and it's also known for its famous waffles and its famous uh, staircase which contains 374 steps can you imagine that so my plan is to go and attempt that and then see what the rest of the city has to offer I really like the designs of the buildings, they're just nicely done, it's, it's just really full of history from everything, the, the infrastructure, the buildings, the culture, it's really a nice city to visit at least once. I decided to stay at the Penta Hotel in Liège. It's a very nice location, really close to the center. You can literally walk to the center. You don't have to drive. You can reach so many things just from that location. And I like the setup of the hotel. It's, um, it's just an interesting one. It looks, um, look at that old phone. You, you know, it has some things that you never get to see uh, in so many places. So, and that's the view from my window. Um, Actually, I'm not sure what that is, but I think it's just some buildings in the city and there was some construction going on also outside, but it was very quiet at night, for example. It's a nice hotel. Everything looks decent. Everything looks clean. I enjoyed my experience staying uh, at this hotel. So later I decided to take a walk to the city. It took me just five minutes to walk to this place and that's really nice. You see, I'm already at the shopping center and uh, there's a lot of things to see here. The, there's some churches, the municipality, some museums, all those interesting things to see in Liège. Right now I'm standing in the middle of the city. There's a shopping street right behind me. The train station is right in front of me. It's really a mix of so many things and behind me there is a place with so many restaurants and later I want to experience eating the food in Lille. arrived at the Montagne de Buren. It's a nice place to visit and I am curious to see how long it will take me to go up the 
steps. Remember, it's 374 staircases. Come with me. Not such a bad ascent, by the way. The beginning is okay. It's fine. And people are just casually walking. Like the people living here, this, some of them, this is their major route going somewhere. Tourists also like to come here and experience that. And if you can notice, there are also people living there, like on both sides of the staircases, you can see homes. And uh, they put a lot of, you know, messages on the staircase, like don't make noise, don't spit, you know, all those kind of things. They give some advice, of course, to make the place look better and also for the people living there. So you can see here, like there's uh, some message for everybody that's going up, you know, easy to read. And it's quite an ascent, you know, I like it. I hope I can reach the top because it's starting to feel like quite heavy. And I think I am maybe at number 100. I stopped counting when I started, I wanted to count, but I'm telling you, you need your breath. So at that point, I just stopped and decided to go with the flow. So let's keep going. You see here, they say, thank you for visiting without screaming. It's just to make the place, keep the place quiet, you know, for the people who are living there, the residents. It feels much steeper at the top, like I really can't wait to get to the top, but um, it's a nice experience, you know, maybe one day I'm going to try it again now that I know how it is. And you know what's interesting, like we saw a couple of people running up and down those steps like it's nothing. I finally reached the top, I completed the challenge, I am happy, I have finally gotten one thing off my bucket list. And you know what, this is something good to try, so why not give it a try? And it's so nice at the top, you can have a good view of the city of Lauk or Liege. It's beautiful, look at the buildings. Some people, they sort of decided to stop going, but that is how it is. And this was in the evening, so I could see the sunset. It was about uh, maybe six o'clock, I can't remember very well. And at the end, you know, they give you very nice uh, thank you messages and people stay at the top to make pictures and all those kind of things. When you get to the top of the staircase, there's also another monument. It's for the veterans. It's a nice place to go. And when you stand there, you can have a very nice view of the city of Lauk. As this was in the evening, so it was just nice to see the sunset. Look at the skies, very beautiful. And it was full of people, you know, taking pictures and all that thing. It was almost impossible to find a spot to stand. That's how uh, popular it is with the uh, locals and tourists. I really like the sky. It's really beautiful. Look at that.
this is how the monument looks like. There's some uh, writing on there. You know, it's um, in honor of the people that uh, fought for the country. So it's it's it also has a nice feel actually. And when you're up there somehow, maybe because of the altitude or whatever it is, but it does feel quite peaceful up there. how the city looks like in the evening, a lot of lights. It's just a nice way to see the city. You really get a bird's eye view from this location. I am not sure, but it's probably one of the highest locations in the country. So it's a nice way to just have a view of the entire place. It was now in late in the evening and it was time to find something to eat. So I decided to walk back into the city to find a nice restaurant where I can eat something. And you know what I had in mind? I wanted to eat some rabbit meat because that's very uh, popular in Liege. It is one of the main dishes apart from waffles. So I found something. Look at that. Thank <laughs> you.